Good day everyone, today we will be learning how to make rooms in Revit. So we will be tackling color coding, room area schedule, and room tags. So continue watching if you'd like to learn more about this. So here we have a very simple floor plan. It's a very small house and it has several rooms. So we have two bedrooms, two bathrooms, a kitchen, and a living room and a storage room, as well as an outdoor area or a patio or an entrance porch. So if you'd like to elevate your floor pans, uh, you can make it color-coded to make it easier to read. Or if you don't want to put labels, then you can just put rooms and have a color legend at the side. So now I'll be teaching you how to make rooms. So the first thing that you have to do is go to the architecture tab and press the room button or you can also use the shortcut which is RM. It's important to note that you can only make rooms around walls. So if there are no walls like <clears throat> this one this one has no walls because it's an outdoor area. You cannot make a room. But I'll be teaching you how to create a room for spaces that do not have walls. So you just click on all the rooms that you have. And as you can see, uh, they all they're, they're now considered as rooms. So you can rename them, but before we rename them, uh, remember uh, this one is a different space. So this one's a living area, and this one's a dining area, and this one's a kitchen, and this one is um, a foyer, and this one's a hallway. and you want to name them differently so you can use the room separator you just press on it and then you create the boundary so the room separator creates a it creates a boundary between spaces that don't have walls but then they need to have a distinction so you can just place it in you can just place it anywhere that needs to have a separation. So now we have all of the rooms separated. So you can, as you can see, they are now, and they now have their own boundaries even though it's just an open area. So this one's going to be my uh, dining area, this is going to be my kitchen, and this is going to be my foyer, and this is going to be the hallway. So after that, we can now rename all of the rooms. So as you can see, all of the room numbers and the room names are already seen, but it doesn't look that nice yet. It's quite incomplete and even this label is overlapping with the furniture. So let's just move that. Okay, so it's not done yet. Uh, you can press this room tag and press edit type and you can uncheck the room number and you can show the area or instead of the area you can just show the room number or you can just have the room name there's something that i forgot so Let's press the area again. So I set my units to have two decimal places shown, but originally it's just 
of the rounded off unit, I mean the rounded off value of the area that's shown. So what you can do is press UN for project units and you can go to the area and this is how you change the decimal places. So if you want um if you want values that aren't that specific or aren't that accurate, you can go for that. But I prefer the more accurate one. That's why I made it two decimal places. So yeah, that's it. So let's just go back to edit type and unshow the area because I prefer it that way. So the next thing that we can do is to go to annotate and press color fill legend. You can just place, you can just place it anywhere. It doesn't matter actually because it doesn't it won't show in your sheets. So what I like about Revit is that it automatically gives color to your rooms. So instead of going to Photoshop, instead of going to PowerPoint to put colors and manually compute for your areas, everything is already here. And so far, I like the colors that Revit gave. And we actually lack one room over here. It's Since it's an outdoor area, as I mentioned, Revit doesn't consider rooms without walls or spaces without walls as rooms. So we have to make this a room in order for it to be part of the room legend. So what we can do is go back to architecture, to the architecture tab and press room separator. And we just have to outline the boundaries of the room. So we have outlined the boundaries of the room. And now we just have to press room and tag it. And automatically, it becomes a room. So let's just rename it to entrance porch. Entrance porch or patio. There, so we are almost done with the tutorial. So we have everything we need in our floor plan. It looks okay already. And another thing for the room legend, you can edit scheme and you can change the colors. You can pick anything you like. So there we have a change, but uh, personally, I like all of the colors, so I'll just go back to the old colors, and that's it. One last thing, um, since the areas aren't shown, you can have a you can have a schedule of areas. So let's go to schedule or quantities and press new schedule or quantities, and you just look for room room schedule you can rename it any way you like and you can also press new construction you can also press existing but i'd go for new construction because that's the default okay and let's go for name that's the first parameter the second parameter is area you can pick any other parameter but I don't think they're very important for my floor plan, so I'll go for name and area only. And you have your room schedule. It's all complete. You have the areas here, and you also have the room names. You can expand it. And you can also rename it here. Let's just make it all uh, Shara's house. Well, let's just go with the regular name, room schedule. And you have all of your areas and the names of your rooms, and they're complete. So let's go back to the ground floor plan. Here we have a pipe chase. So since this wall is... So this wall is... um. 
the other end of the boundary of this common P and B. So let's just press it and uncheck the room bounding parameter or constraint. And now the common P and B is colored fully. So that's actually it for the tutorial and I hope that you learned something and that you enjoyed this tutorial. So subscribe and like if you haven't yet. Thank you so much and have a great day.